that Nico Rosberg would have wanted. Uh, unfortunate for him, he didn't have the power today, but his teammate did, and uh, Kimi Raikkonen, we've got the two fastest men from qualifying. We're going to take a look at their laps in a side-by-side -side comparison here as we head down the straight. 220 miles an hour for both drivers here at this point on the track, breaking down into second gear for the chicane. Both drivers taking it extremely well, getting a good exit, and we stop it for the first time just there, and you can see pretty much it's level pegging between the two drivers that get to the end of the kerb. So uh, as you'd expect, two masters uh, behind the wheel doing their best, and uh, the car's performing well as well. Equal performance in that first chicane. Now the second chicane coming up, breaking into here. I'm just going to slow it down because on the left-hand side of the screen, you see Lewis just misses the apex slightly on the left compared to Raikkonen on, on the right-hand side. And then watch Lewis, a slight kick of oversteer in the middle of the corner. That doesn't happen for Raikkonen, but nevertheless, uh, Hamilton's able to hang on to that speed and keep the advantage. He rolled it on to the next reference points, that, uh, that bridge, the shadow there. Lewis just a sniff ahead. Now into the first of the Lesmos. Looks to me like Lewis can just hook the car up slightly better than Raikkonen does on the right-hand side. But Raikkonen using a bit more of the track on the, uh, the left-hand side there, getting that wheel nice and close. It's a very narrow part of the track there, which opens up the second of the, the Lesmos. But Lewis runs out a bit wider and carries a bit more speed in doing so into the second of the DRS zones on the approach to the Ascari chicane. I'll just slow it down because it's a lot to take in in this corner. We talked about this in Q2, and both drivers doing extremely well here, as you would expect. Both cars hooking up nicely and carrying that momentum through onto the straight, not using too much of the kerb on the outside. And Lewis holding on to that advantage as we go under the, uh, the second reference bridge there before the Parabolica. And once again, the Mercedes looking to me like it's just got a little bit more front grip compared to the Ferrari, and he's able to hang on to that momentum and that speed through that corner, which gives him that two-tenth advantage uh, over Kimi Raikkonen. Brilliant stuff between those two. Yeah, it was.